Hello, my name is Robert Kemeny with Network Consulting Services. Today I'd like to show you how to create an access control list in Imperva's hosted Cloud Web Application Firewall, or Cloud WAF. Let's get logged into the console. We're going to go ahead and sign into the console. From the top menu, we'll pick Applications. We'll go to WAF and to WAF Policies. From here is where we'll control our access to our sites that we have onboarded. This is an area where we can create an access control list, for example, to block bad traffic based on its country's origin. Let me show you how that's done. We'll click Create Policy. We'll give it a name. And a description. Oh, I spelled it wrong again. <laughs> and a description. We'll go ahead and enable the policy. And from our policy type dropdown, we'll select Access Control List. There is a tab at the tap in the uh, a tab at the top in the middle, excuse me, that will pick configuration. And our top category here is country. We also have the ability to do uh, blocking on specific URLs if there are some paths we don't want available um, to uh, visitors to the site, or if we have IPs specifically that we want to uh, mitigate access from. We can put that in and even upload it from a CSV formatted file. Uh, we're going to start here by clicking in the country list. Uh, we can go ahead and block entire um, areas like Asia or Europe, um, or we can get uh, a little more granular uh, by expanding those categories and picking on uh, some of the uh, different countries here that are listed. Once we're satisfied with our control list, we need to make sure that we've applied it to the correct website. We do that by clicking on the Applied On tab. Uh, we're going to choose all sub accounts, but more specifically, we're going to pick the storefront that we're interested in protecting uh, traffic to. Um, and then we'll go ahead and click Create at the bottom. And finally, Save. This will take us back to our main menu where we can see that we now have a storefront access control list being applied to the one website that we specified and that it is enabled. It even lets you do some tracking of who created this rule and when it was created and applied. It's just that easy. Thanks for watching.